Wow, so uh, we received a, a piece of viewer mail here, unlike any other piece of viewer mail we've ever received. As you can see, this is a uh, Monroe County Jail. Um, this stamp identifies this correspondence as having been mailed by a person incarcerated at the above correctional institution. Um, B. Bennett here, care of Monroe County Jail. Dear J and B, it's I'm writing you from Monroe County Jail. I was wondering if you guys would give, give me a few tips and secrets and shit on how to make a TV show kind of similar to yours. Me and a friend was thinking of something like us getting high and shit like that. We watch your show every Tuesday and we think it is pretty fucking good. Wow, they watch our show in jail. Yeah, we wish we were out getting zooted too, but we can't because we're in here. Hey, could you tell us about how you guys edit your shit? What kind of camera is the best kind to use? What type of videotapes are best to use? Could you write us back and tell us what kind of shit will help us out in making our own video and shit like that? Thank you, Brad Bennett. P.S. Please write back. Well, actually, Brad, um, we thought that, that you know, we're, we're not textual kind of people. Um, we're, in fact, videographers. We make a TV show, as you pointed out, and, well, why don't we just show you how to make a TV show with this? I'm a bartender, and that's what I'm doing. And there's Christy Paxson, and she's dropped her purse, and so oh, she's over there. You just broke it. Oh. You just broke. It got caught on the car. Oh, dear. So God, introduce that, yourself. That portends doom for this episode of Rocks. Yeah, how to make your own TV show. That's what it's called, and and uh, we're here to make a TV show right now. The banter is too much for me. Yeah. So, yes, I'm here, too. I'm B. I'm your editor and I'm working the camera right now. So we're here at, uh, at the Service Merchandise here in Bloomington, Indiana. And we're here for our first step in how to make your own TV show. And for that, you need a camera. And so you have to go here. Now, of course, you're, you're probably saying, well, hell, I'm poor. I'm a student. I can't afford a video camera. Well, you can do the miracle of credit. Buy it on credit, return it, and you never have to pay for it. It's a great deal. Brought to you by Corporate America. Thanks. They have the sharp view cam. Now this is an interesting thing. I have some questions about a video camera. Okay. Do you know if it has an image stabilizer? It does not. Does it come with a battery? Yes, it does. Could you explain the return policy on this? It's a 30 day return policy. You just need to save your receipt, all your original packaging won't be a problem. See, there we are on this video sharp view ourselves, cam. Videotaping ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> they certainly seem to be happy with their product. I think I'm gonna get this one. Hey, look, we've got our video camera. We're ready to roll. First step in how to make your own TV show. Get a video camera, use it, and then we're gonna take it back. We bought the most expensive video camera they had there um, because we're gonna return it so it's free any way you look at it. There's another important aspect to any television show, and that's a cast of characters. Well, we have one here. Me, I'm Jay, I'm the bartender, as I told you earlier. Then there's over there Christy Paxson, who's kind of your tour guide to the, uh, to the snow mounds of southern Indiana, the mall mounds. I just couldn't help but notice the mall mounds. This here's a beauty. Come on, kids! Come on down to the mall mound! Scale the mall! Get your picture taken with the mall mound. Hi, Mom. Mall mound. Bloomington, circa 1995. Well, we're just driving around in circles out here at the mall because we don't seem to have anything um, really to inspire us here other than these great big snow mounds. But um, we've just realized that, uh, that there is a reality-based thing that we have to cope with here. A thing? A thing. <laughs> and that is that uh, today we have to uh, start painting or I have to start painting with Jenny Beasley the house that Jenny and I 
um, own together, or that she owns and I'm gonna live with, live in when I marry her. <laughs> so I've got a good tip for all you aspiring videographers out there, and that's when you're making a television show, um, just try to depict reality. You know, it's, it's when you're working without a budget, when you're working uh, without a, a highly paid staff and, and really high-tech equipment, well, depicting reality is just the easiest way to go. And part of our reality today is that we've got to help paint this house. Yeah, see, I'm going to be living here, too, with Jenny. Um, we're getting married, actually, um, as you can see by those wedding bells cleverly up there in the corner. Um, yeah, right about there. Yeah, yeah. The, um, love and, and all of that, uh, yes, and, and so this. These are like the little drips of reality that seem to come through when you're doing something that's not staged. It's not on some kind of set. It's real life, and that's what it's all about. Um, paint, for example, is uh, is something useful. And right now, I'm going to paint this video camera. Although this isn't the tall variety of the mall mound, the ones that just tower, like the Tower of Babel. This is really the sort of the Great Wall of China version. This is a very long, thick one. The Great Wall of China. A mall mound like no other. Oh, wow. Woo, this is a canyon. This is what we call Devil's Canyon. This side, the mall, the big college mall. That side, the mini mall. So they've been duking it out for your consumer dollars. I'm right here in the middle. Hell, I don't know if I want to go to Baskin Robbins or Chick-fil-A. Oh my God, this is amazing. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. Can I see? Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh. You can't believe how stupid it, lo it looks to look at you, um, which is, I feel like I'm looking at just some kind of box. You are um, looking at some kind of box. Yeah. There's water over here. Frozen mass of water. This is great, man, having two video cameras. I think everyone should have a video camera attached to their forehead at birth. And now for the viewing audience. A song, music. That's a tip for you. Don't ever forget um, to put some music, you know, um, kind of in the background or to do a montage too, because music, after all, is the spice of life, or the food of the gods, or something. Anyway, here's a little song I wrote that I thought would be appropriate because it's based on that famous old classic ditty, This Old House. The cold mouse once knew my children. The cold mouse once knew my wife. The cold mouse wants an explanation of why I bought the warming knife. The cold mouse wants to drive me crazy. The cold mouse wants me insane. Now I can hear the windows peeping through the broken angel pane. I ain't gonna lead this mouse no longer. I ain't gonna feed this mouse no more. I got no time for freezer sections in the back of grocery stores. I got no time for joining lynch mobs. An awful dancing in the rain. I ain't gonna feed this mouse no longer it's getting ready to eat my brain oh god i found a window <sighs> all right spit one of our, our our most important tips probably is to spell things backwards because when you spell for tips for example backwards of course is spit you know spit <sighs> you know spit <sighs> gross bodily functions get people's attention. Uh, they gross people out sometimes. Other people get kind of turned on, but... Uh... I'm leaving again. Um, I got back over here and realized that, uh, that I had failed to bring a paintbrush, which was one of the main reasons I went home, so I've got to go back. But in the meantime, I thought I'd segue blatantly to an interview with someone else who has a little bit to say about making your own television show. All right. Sonic. Can't you hear the sound? Electronics make the world go round. Hello. 
Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Just fine. How are you? I'm Melissa. I'm the traffic coordinator here at BCAT. Um, basically what I do is program scheduling. So if you want to make a program, well, I don't know. I hate doing this. I really do. BCAT is public access, which means basically that we get our money from cable subscribers. Um, people on TCI Cable, part of your franchise fees goes for BCAT funding. We do not have commercials. We cannot promote anyone who is trying to make money. The first step to making a program at BCAT is filling out a program proposal. Um, let me show you where those are. Sure. This is the entry door to BCAT. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you come down the stairs, you're going to come down BCAT. And this is our rack of forms. <laughs> <laughs> and on the, uh, this orange form right here is your program proposal. Wow. So all you have to do is give your name, your program title, and the description, turn it in, they review them on Tuesdays, and then you get your program approved, usually. If it's accepted, then you come in for camera training, and we have someone here that will train you on camera, and once you've had camera training, you get a camera for 24 hours. So once you're done shooting your program, then you also get edit training, and then you come in here, and you're going to do your editing, and then once you're done editing, you turn it in to us, and then we play it. Wow. So, how much does all this cost? It's free. Wow. It's great. <laughs> We're now at Mall Mound number three. Mount Vesuvius, even though that was a volcano. I'm going to conquer it because I think that the world should pay attention while I climb this mountain. Okay, here I go. Okay, well, close enough, huh? Come on, go No, on. I can't! I can't! Oh, damn it, I did it! I'm at the top, yes! What's going on down there? He got a lava lamp. There you go. Like, oh, wow, look at that. You, you look at this when you get high, you know, and you just let it just... Are you returning it? Yeah. Wow, the power to return! Yes! We the consumer! Yeah. See, we just bought this video camera that you're looking into. It's yeah. kind of weird looking, isn't it? Yes, it's great. Yeah, we're it's... intending to take it back when, we, when we're done videotaping <laughs> today. One thing, one, one recourse that keeps the balances in power. That's right. I think I have a bug for donations. Hey, hey, Donation. now this is something I like to see. Donations. donations. Now, we can't ask for these things. Wow. When Real you're... money. I'm gonna go see if I can work me one of them donations. Just for you guys. That's what I'm gonna do. Here you go, Whoa! Whoa! All right! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! Ow! Now, of course, another very important tip is go low. Low budget, low tech. Save money. That way you can spend your extra money that you save on drugs. See, preparedness, I guess that's, um, that's a tip. Um, like, um, plan ahead and, and, uh, and all of that. Um, because probably when you get around to videotaping, you'll be so stoned or drunk that uh, you won't even be able to remember things. So write things down. We're trying to have a, an episode planning meeting for this television show that you're watching now. Yeah. No, I would want Bard, I would want it to be an image on the... Mm -hmm. Like a toaster effect, you know. See, we get together and do this all the time for every episode that we do. On the red button. We have a planning session. Sometimes it can get a little hairy. As long as I have an idea and, and, and you guys do something with it, that's segment. fine. It can only be your it can only be your idea unless 
You, think you of approve it. of it. You know, you're doing it on a low budget. You're doing it with friends. Well, they may not be your friends after you're all finished. And in sitcoms, the conflict is resolved. Well, in this kind of shit, it never gets resolved. Yeah, we're too confused and stupid to even understand that there is a conflict until it's too late. Well, I'm going to have a conflict all over your face, asshole. This is our episode planning <laughs> meeting. Um, Mr. B, Captain B, um, has manned the camera, as, as you've been seeing by the way that he tends to point it at himself. This is an episode work sh planning worksheet, how to make your own television show. And as you see, there's spaces here for a statement of purpose, um, a drink, a letter, an animation, the anarchy diary, the statistic, um, and then contents. We actually do these episode planning worksheets for every single episode that we do. Things flow so naturally, you'd, you'd hardly think that there was a mastermind behind it. Um, <laughs> it's this you? <laughs> How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much gum did I have to chew? Before it turned into a vagina. Here's my vagina that I made. I chewed this. Oh, look, it's even And it here. randomly yeah. came out like this. This was what was going on on the inside, huh? That's what making your own TV shows about is taking what's on the inside and making it out physical. Yeah. That's right. Well, cool. It's like God scratched his head and the flakes came tumbling down. So we're here dueling interviews with Anthony from Indianapolis. We are talking about zines, uh, small press publications. We're in Indianapolis too now, and of course combat is in Bloomington, so uh, this is kind of a Bloomington, Indianapolis interactive intermedia yeah. race. This is kind of where it all started for, for us, is Fact Sheet 5, which is a, a great publication about zines. Mm -hmm. It's basically a big uh, listing of all the zines that are out there that care to send in their their uh, publication to be reviewed. Woo wee! Yeah, woo wee! And this is published by uh, Oscar Stern out of New York City. Uh, another publication that we brought today is a local publication called Psycho Bitch, <clears throat> which is a Riot Girl publication published locally by Kimberly Bright. A Bloomington publication called Sty Zine. Oh, I've um, seen that around. Sure. And this is put out by, by a guy named Icky. One of my favorites is this publication called Attitude Problem, mm -hmm. which is uh, published by uh, Scott Dunham from Prescott, Arizona. And we also have in our pile here, Boiled Angel, <laughs> which Sounds is good. something we talked about earlier, which is published by Mike Diana. Well, we didn't talk about it on video, though. Right, we didn't talk about it on video, and it looks like we're going to have to. And here's the uh, the back cover. Oh goodness, crazy! Yes. So that's a Christmas issue. This is, uh, I think, the Christmas issue number eight for last year, and we see sort of this demented Santa Claus figure coming mm -hmm. in through the window. And gosh, it looks like he's eating somebody. I don't know what. Does that look like he's eating somebody to you guys? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> he was actually busted in uh, Florida where he lives um, for doing his comic, and he faces uh, a jail term. What's the uh, crime? Well, the crime is uh, supposedly obscenity. Now, Mike was busted, and he was on probation for a while. He wasn't even allowed to draw his comic anymore. And he was subject to spot checks by the authorities, which means they could come into his house and actually look around to see if he was drawing anything, mm -hmm. which is yeah. totally outrageous. Arise, ye sheep, and realize that we are enslaved by a male-dominated militaristic system that threatens the entire planet. Combat is dedicated to activism in the pursuit of the final abolishment of the slavery of the human race. So we also um, offer our publication free to prisoners. Um, all they have to mm -hmm. do is write in. Again, any of these things that uh, you've hear, heard us talking about, if you want to see them, you, the viewer, want to see them, just write to B, and he'll take care of it. I would encourage people to, to look at these things. Um, I know a lot of people out there are thinking about doing their own publication, and uh, I would just encourage people to do it, because uh, you'll just... Uh, you'll get so much out of it. This is no hippie shit, man. This is free jazz, man. This is free jazz Generation X spontaneous reality. This is Anarchy Diary, man. Do we look Generation X? Hell yeah, we do. Oh, that's some Generation X going right at your face, man. Oh, I don't want to go all the way to the head, man. It's winter time, man. It gets a little cold. It's not worth it unless I can shave you bald. All right. Fuck. You gotta shave it all though now, man. Nope. N nope, nope. Yeah.
I went hunting today, here's my trophy. Bam! 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 You are dead, motherfucker. You think the government's gonna fuck with me now? I know how to shoot a newsy, motherfucker. I can take 50 of you out in a second. So, you know, um, we don't consider ourselves really experts at this in any sense of the of the word. Um, as a matter of fact, we uh, we tend to be to exhibit um, just extreme uh, examples of incompetence at every turn. However, um, you should note that uh, that we do it and we get away with it. Hey, you want to make your own television show? Yeah, I've got a tip for you then. What's that? Move to Bloomington. Hey, Bloomington, now, Indiana. This that's where we are right now. If you haven't figured that that out, this is rocks that you're watching. It's a a weekly uh, independently produced cable access show, TV, cable show. access television show that we make here in Bloomington, Indiana, which is where we live. And of course, we send it out to cable access stations all over the country, yeah. or at least all over the state. Well, we send it up to Indianapolis, but of course, we don't get paid for doing this. I mean, the station, uh, none of the stations where this might air ever give us any money. The idea here isn't to make a buck. The idea is to express yourself and to uh, speak out, you know, not to just complain about the mainstream media, become the media. Uh, I think Jello Biafra said that, so I want to give, you know, credit where credit is due. That's another tip. Give credit where credit's, uh, credit is due. See the things that are rolling ah, past me yeah. now? That's credits, and we're giving it to where they're due yeah. thing. So, um, what was it? Oh, yes, move to Bloomington. If you want to uh, make a cable access television show, if you want to make your own TV show, man, there is one place in the country for you and one place alone, and that place is Bloomington. Why? Well, it's not because the job opportunities are great here, but that's the thing. See, you don't want to have a good job, otherwise you, you know, you'll get comfortable with that. You need to stay poor um, to stay on the edge. Yeah, but see, the actual reason to move to Bloomington is because this is the only place in the country where the city government gives away free marijuana to all its citizens. What you got there, B? What do you think? <laughs> Did we mention do drugs as a tip? I think we've kind of done that more by example already. Yeah, well, well, there's another tip that I wanted to add that, and that's do lots of drugs. Because, you know, everybody does drugs, but you want to provide an interesting perspective. So it's going to be um, necessary to alter your perspective. Yeah. By altering your consciousness. Yeah. Which I'm doing proudly here before you, not because I want to get high, not because I seek pleasure shamelessly, but because um, I want to, I, I'm, I'm bravely sacrificing myself to, self to make a political statement um, about how your constitutional rights damn well ought to include the right to, um, well, customize your consciousness. My God! Oh my God! It's the mother of them all! Woo! I was lost, but now I'm found! Look at this big ball mound! Yeah! Woo! There's the dreaded cesspool of muck around it. Further evidence of man's disruption of nature. Instant gratification. Now! One day we'll be eating this. This, uh, this video camera really sucks in some ways. Um, as a matter of fact, the worst thing that I've discovered um, already is that uh, there's no way to adjust like the focus or the shutter speed. There's no manual focus at all. Um, it's all it is is just a little trinket with this crazy video uh, uh, LCD viewfinder that you can look at. But what use is that? I mean, you can't even fucking see it during, in the light because uh, because the, it's too dark. Oh, this is sucks. I... Look what has happened because of your foolish pranks. They've gone out of business. Oh, shit. How are we going to return the video camera now?
Well, it's just because of fools like you buying merchandise and then returning it that they've gone out of business in oh the first god. place. It's all your fault! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Well, the sun is setting on this wonderful, beautiful day here in southern Indiana. Um, but before the sun went all the way away, I thought I'd mix a drink um, in honor of, of uh, what we're doing here, which is mixing a drink. This is going to be called a, a, a vodka snowball. What you have is some snow in a cup, which you scoop up like that, and then you just pour some vodka over it. Um, How much would you say? Oh, as much as you plan on drinking. So like the whole bottle, that would be fine. And take a sip. Mmm. <sighs> Smooth. Smooth as silk. Like our television programming technique that we've been demonstrating to you here today. Um, kind of a show telling you how to make a TV show, kind of by example. All right, here we are at the Monroe County Jail. As you can see, we came here to visit our friend who wrote us this letter. What yeah. was his name? His name is Brad Bennett, actually, as we see here on the uh, yeah. on this thing here. Incarcerated herein. Yeah. He wanted to know how to make a television show, and by God, we've showed him. We told him, actually, or showed him. Yeah, yeah. we told him a told, thing or two. We told him a we thing or two. We showed him. No, we did. We shoot. We shoot. Showed him. Gave how to make shoes. a television show, and um, now we'd like to stop by and say hi to the dude, but we can't because, like, he's in jail. Yeah, yeah. And it's snowy and cold out here, so uh, rather than blabber on and on and on about how to make a TV show, we're going to um, shut up. <laughs> Bucket, 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 bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. How do you do this? We we'll do it like that, Jenny. Do I have to wash anything else? I'm gonna put snow. <laughs> you can wash this, baby. Rocks can be seen by an audience of over one billion people, thanks to the technology of the new digital highway. But just how does this miracle of modern science work? Your television station emits rocks in the form of invisible waves called cathode rays, which spread at over half the speed of light over one quarter of the planet's surface. Because these waves are invisible, you can't see them. The cathode rays are picked up by the camcorders of ordinary citizens in the Access TV network. The remote sensing device or CCDs installed in modern camcorders translate these invisible waves into the sights and sounds of rocks. But the rock's journey isn't complete yet. The amplified signals are sent to fiber optic telephone lines, which translate the analog signal to compressed digital. Ironically, Indiana is the last to receive the rock's images and sounds. This is because the signals need to be back transmitted from the most distant cable stations in the access matrix back step by step to the originating system in Indiana. So next time you tune into rocks, remember that the show you love to see on TV has made made quite a journey to get to your living room. All right, so if you like that television show that you just saw, you might be intrigued to know it's just one in a series of television shows that we've been producing since 1992. Uh, Rocks, actually, is the name of the series. And you can find out more about it and us at rocks.com. That's R-O-X dot com. It's our website. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Uh, you can actually watch old episodes of the show on there and uh, maybe even get in touch with us. Maybe even get involved in the production of a future episode of Rocks. Anyway, we'd love to hear what you think. And uh, we hope that you'll tune in next week to watch another episode of Rocks here on Free Speech TV. And now, at least, you know how to make your own TV show so that every week you can stop watching this bullshit.